Well, good evening, guys, and welcome back. Cumberland Outdoorsman out here loading up a, another little rifle, a carbine, actually. This is one that you haven't seen before. This is a Glenfield Marlin Model 75C. Pretty much the same thing as a Marlin or Glenfield Model 60, but in a shorter carbine version. It's got an 18-inch barrel. The overall length is about... 36 inches and it weighs around four and a half pounds or so. Let's see how she shoots. That's it. Well folks, she shoots pretty good. I haven't had this gun out here but maybe once or twice and so far I haven't had any problems with it. Um, it cycles and shoots quite well and it's fairly accurate out there to 50 yards and uh, you know it's just a nice little gun to add to my collection and that's the reason I got it. I got it fairly cheap actually, inexpensive I should say, and uh, I refinished the stock because it was scratched up somewhat. I wanted to restore it and get it in nice presentable condition. But as I said, it's a shorter, more compact version of the Glenfield or Marlin Model 60. And here I'll show you the roll stamp on the barrel. There you see Glenfield Model 75C. Marlin Firearms Company. And this one comes with this barrel band to kind of give it that carbine look, you know. So uh, it's nice to add something like this to the collection because I never even heard of one until I saw it. And what I've got here on the table is this full length Marlin Glenfield Model 60. It has the full length 22 inch barrel with the full capacity tubular magazine. And this is probably one of my favorite guns here. Very accurate, good little shooter. I put a nice scope on here. This is a Glenfield scope. Fits very nicely on the gun. This one here has got a golden trigger that I added to it. And I also upgraded it so that it would stay open or the bolt would stay open on the last shot. I really like that feature. But anyway, I, I tell you what, I can really tell the difference <laughs> when I laid that gun down and picked this one up. Just the weight difference, you know, it's just a lot lighter. This one's four and a half pounds and uh, it holds 14 rounds of 22 long rifle ammunition. I think I already mentioned that. It came with these adjustable rear sights and a fixed front sight. Um, other than that, they're virtually identical. Has the same receiver and action, same trigger mechanism as the Marlin Model 60 or Glenfield Model 60. Now here on the table I've got another carbine and there's a reason I brought this one out is just to make a quick comparison. This is the M1 carbine. This is the famous rifle that was used in World War II and I think also somewhat in Vietnam. but. I thought I'd bring it out here just to kind of make a quick comparison in size here. You can see that the uh, Glenfield is just a little bit longer, maybe oh three quarters of an inch or so longer, not much. And in, as far as weight, they're nearly identical. Um, the way it feels on your shoulder, very much the same. Although this one has a peep sight, you know, this is all factory standard issue for the time when these guns were issued for the war. And this is all original. This is an original M1 carbine made by Inland. And here on the barrel, 
I see that it says uh, General Motors, 1943. And this is a good shooting rifle here, but this is not what this video is about because I don't cover tactical weapons, and this is not really tactical. This is just a piece of American history here. Another part of my collection. I just wanted to bring this rifle out here to feature it in this video. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know if I've ever seen another Model 75C. This is the only one that I've ever laid eyes on. And I just recently went to a gun show where they had thousands of guns, and I didn't see a single one of these. I saw plenty of the uh, Glenfield or Marlin Model 60, lots of them, but not one of these. So, reasonably, I'd say they're somewhat rare. Not really sure, but uh, like I say, I just haven't seen them around. I just noticed something here on the barrel. There is a JM stamp right here on the left side of the barrel where it meets the receiver. And it does have a micro grooved rifled barrel. And uh, these guns were made from 1967 until 1991 when they were discontinued. So, you know, it's interesting little facts about these different Model 60 variations. Um, I showed you the original Marlin Model 99, which is also part of my collection. It's very much like the Model 60, just an earlier version. And the Model 99 also had an M1 carbine copy that looked very much like the M1 carbine that I have here on the table. But unfortunately, I don't have one of those. But anyway, let me go ahead and uh, set up some more targets and we'll do a little bit more shooting and then I'll close out the video. By the way, folks, uh, I'm going to load up some of this high velocity Winchester Super X PowerPoint ammunition. This is some pretty hot stuff. I'm just going to load 10 rounds right now. I should mention they also made a shorter magazine version that only holds 10 rounds. This is a, a little bit longer. This one will hold 14 rounds. But the shorter version only comes up to about right there. It just kind of pokes out the front of the stock right there. But, uh, this one here has the longer magazine. All right. Let's see how it'll handle this high velocity ammunition. Knew that was the last round. <laughs> As you can see, you can hold the bolt open. It has a bolt catch at the end. You just pull it back, just like in the Model 60 or the Glenfield. Then push the charging handle inwards, and the bolt stays locked open. Now you can safely inspect the breech and clean the gun. You know, so that's a nice little feature. And uh, that came along in the early 60s. It was a newer development from the Marlin Model 99. But as you could see, it fired all those shells just flawlessly. And uh, so far, I haven't had any problems in terms of feeding or ejection. It does really well. Well, guys, now I'd like to test this little rifle at 25 yards with open sights shooting off of a sandbag rest just to see what kind of grouping that I can get using this uh, CCI standard velocity ammo. So let me get zoomed in here and we'll take a quick five shot group. Get in a little bit closer there. I think you can see that all right. All right. Let's see how well this gun will shoot at this distance.
All right. Not too bad. Well, folks, as you can see, it's getting a little bit darker out here, and the mosquitoes are starting to chew on me pretty good. But before I go, I wanted to discuss this target that I just shot at 25 yards. That's five shots using open sights off of a sandbag rest, shooting CCI standard velocity, 22 long rifle ammo out of that Glenfield Model 75C. As you can tell, just by looking at the target, all five shots clustered pretty close to around the center there. Some of that is shooter error, I'm sure, but that's plenty good enough for small game hunting, whether you're squirrel hunting or rabbit hunting or whatever. You know, that's a shot on a small game animal that will make a clean harvest every time. So the accuracy potential out of that rifle or that carbine, I should say, is more than good enough to use it as a hunting rifle. And if you want to get more accuracy out of these guns, as I said, the receiver is identical to that of the Marlin Model 60 or the Glenfield Model 60 in being equipped with a full length scope rail so that you can mount tip off scope rings for 22 caliber scopes, you know, that are parallax adjusted for 22 caliber ranges. So you can get all the accuracy that these little guns are capable of using a scope if you so choose. I haven't installed a scope yet and there's no telling how accurate this little carbine actually is. I wanted to try it out here at 25 yards because quite often you know in the fall when you're squirrel hunting that's about where you encounter uh, the small game that you're hunting anyway. So anyway that's an overview of the Glenfield Model 75C. Here, I'll give you another quick look at it before I go. I know it's getting kind of dark, but as you can see, it's a handsome little carbine. There you can see the roll stamp once again. The fully adjustable rear sight. There's the front sight configuration. But I just wanted to bring it out here and share it with you folks because I know how much you like 22 caliber rifles and pistols, especially the older ones like this one here. So remember, if you like to go hunting, fishing, camping, shooting, hiking, whatever your outdoor pursuit happens to be, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And until next time, remember, hit that like button, smash the bell icon, and subscribe. That way you'll know when more videos like this one will be coming your way. So until the next video, y'all take care of yourselves and uh, get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. And if you go shooting with your 22, have a lot of fun, but just make sure you do it safely. I'll be seeing you and God bless.